All right, so here is the uh, video on how to make a custom brush. Um, this is for the watermark assignment. Um, so in this project, we're going to go ahead and make a logo for a photography company. So you can make up your photography company. And then we're going to take that logo and we're going to turn it into a brush so that we can use it to put a watermark, to put a little like, you know, copyright signature kind of a thing. Uh, stop somebody from stealing your photo online uh, is the idea, right? On one of our photos, all right? So obviously this isn't a photography class, so you could use, you know, one of your assignments, you could throw it on there, or you could just uh, download a picture off the web and then throw your watermark on there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go through how to create this watermark. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Photoshop. And the first thing I need to do is I need to create a logo. So again, this is photography business. We need to create a new logo. Again, we've talked about several different ways to create a logo, right? We could create a word mark. We could create a monogram. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a real simple logo. So the first thing I need to do is create a new document. Um, you know, it just needs to be a reasonable size so that I can design my logo on there, and then we're going to cut it out later and turn it into a brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and 8.5 by 11, 300 pixels per inch, regular sheet of paper. And I'm going to go ahead and create my logo here. So I'm going to switch to black and white. Um, you can use any color you want in Photoshop, but uh, black and white I think works the best. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick a shape here. I you know, like these mountains here. Right, and I'll go ahead and I put a camera, but I couldn't find one. So I'm just going to use this. Oh, maybe I'll just use this mountain here. Let's try this. Uh, of course, I got my fill turned off, so let's turn the fill back into black. Stroke off. All right. And then let's get some text going here. Let's see if we can spread this out. Just like that. Let's see. Pick a new font here that I like. Really wish I could move this kind of over out of the way a little bit. Oops, switch my hand to the mount. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna pick out some font here really quick. I guess I shouldn't spend too much time on it. It's not really, uh, you, you know, how to create the, the logo is not really the point here. You guys should be able to figure that out, right? We've gone over the tutorial there. So I'm just Find a font I like. I'm not finding anything too quickly. All right, maybe we'll just stick with this top one here. What the heck? All right, and adjust it just a little bit more. There we go. All right, take my whole thing here. Get it lined up the way I want. Let's move this over here to the center a little bit more. All right, there we go. So let's say this is my logo. Again, just super quick, super basic. Not anything amazing. Um, let me change the distance between paragraphs here a little bit. Uh, here we go, word between lines. There we go, like that a little bit better. All right, so what I'm going to do in order to take this image here and turn it into a stamp is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use one of my selection tools. So I'm just gonna use the rectangle marquee tool and I'm gonna just make a selection of the image, all right? Or what I want to create a stamp. So if I had other stuff on the page, it's not gonna turn everything on the page to a stamp, it's just gonna turn this one thing into a stamp. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off the backgrounds because um, we don't really need it. 
I'm going to go up to edit and I go down to define brush preset. Let's see if that is the right. Yep, that's the right one. And I can rename this as um, whatever I want to call it. My watermark. All right, and I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now this is ready to go and I can use it on an image. So go ahead and deselect. So if I go ahead and open up a, a photo now, and I'll just scroll through here real quick. Let's see if I can find a photo I took. Actually, if I go to pictures here, I think there's one of my daughter. Here she is. All right, of my daughter Lydia, and I can go ahead and open this up. And now when I go into my brush tool, oh, it's already doing it for me. If I go to my brush tool, I go up to the top to brushes. Um, we'll see that down here at the very bottom of my brushes, all right, I got special effects brushes, legacy brushes, all the stuff I brought in. But if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I have that new watermark I just created. Now, right now it's on black, so I can, again, the nice thing about being a brush is I can adjust the size. So I can have it really big or I can have it really small. Right. Right. So whatever size I want. Um, and let's see. Right now it is black. So if I go ahead and click, whoops, I got my opacity turned way down. I'm gonna turn my opacity back up here. The other thing I'm gonna do is, I'll, I mean, I'll click once here to show you. Right. And there it goes. There's Reese Snyder Photography. Um, but what's a good idea to do always is to put it on a new layer. So I'm going to go down here and click on the new layer button. And then I can go ahead and put it on a new layer. And then if I want to, after I've done it, because it's on a new layer, I can move it around with my move tool. And I can make it bigger, right? Or I can make it smaller. I can do whatever I want to with it. You can also lower the opacity of it over here well, now that it's on its own layer. Right, make it a little bit see-through. Now, some other cool things about it being a brush, besides the fact that you can easily change the size, is I can also change the color. So in this case, uh, that is one of the things I want you guys to do is go ahead and use it with a new color. So I'm going to go here and click on my color picker. And I'm going to grab this purple, actually, from her shirt. And then um, I'm going to use that with my brush. So now when I go here with my brush, I kind of pulled that color out of the picture, which kind of means that it might that it'll match real nicely when I go and put it down there. All right. So that looks nice. I could use that. Um, I could, if I want, I could maybe pull the, you know, any color. I could pull the green from up here, right? And put it down there if I want. Although that almost disappears, huh? Yeah. So maybe that's not the best color. So I'm thinking the, I'm thinking the pink is a good color. So yeah, that's it, right? I'll grab that color. I'll put my watermark down here, and then I'll go ahead and go up here to. Um, file and I'll go ahead and export it as a JPEG, all right, and turn that in. So easy as that. Uh, I'm also, I'm just because I'm here and I'm playing around, I'm also going to add a drop shadow on this one just so it stands out a little bit. Oops, what's outer glow? I didn't want outer glow, I want a drop shadow. There we go. All right, that'll just kind of help my, my logo stand out even better. Maybe a little bit. There we go. All right, yeah, just fun. So have fun, play around with it, create a, a cool, unique logo for your company, um, and then, again, turn it into a brush, and then put it onto a photograph. All right.